Hello, I am David W. Parker. This is Programming and Today I Learned 3D Math Series, Episode 39, Part 4 of Converting. We're going to be looking at converting a matrix to a quaternion today. Now let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to use this formula for the diagonals of a matrix. It's called the trace, and we can use that to compute W. And we're going to use the formula from the previous episode for the matrix uh, to do it. So we have this previous one. If you want to know how we calculated this free previous formula, go ahead and check out that last episode. So we can compute the trace by adding up the uh, sums of the diagonal. So you can see that's all we're doing here is reducing it. And then we could solve for w um, by with you know with the m m one one m two two m three three by dividing and then taking the square root and the plus. So here's our formula. Similarly, we can compute the others by negation. So if you see this is m11 plus m22 plus m33, to solve for x, we're going to do m11 minus. So the x element will be the first. The second one, of course, will be the y element. So that'll be positive and negate the other two. And the last will be the third element, 33, three, negating the other three. So now we have each of these three formulas. Um, a little extra spacing, you can see it's over two. So you have three formulas that represent uh, this plus the W formula. So now that we have the four components, we can't really use them all simultaneously because the square root is always going to yield a positive number. So the square root up here is going to be positive. So because of that, um, Q and Q, negative Q represent the same orientation. We can use one of the four, but which one do we want to use? What we're going to do is we're going to try to cheat a little bit. We're going to take the diagonal opposite matrix elements so 1, 2, and 2, 1, 1, 2, minus 2, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3, 3, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, 3, plus 3, 2, 2, 3, minus 3, 2. And give us each of these little formulas here. And what we can do is use each of these formulas along with the initial formula for W, uh, and then the one for X, the one for Z, uh, Y, and then Z. And so here's the W formula. And then we can solve for X, Y, Z given W. So we have four formulas here. We can solve for w, y, and z given x. Similarly, solve for w, x, z given y, and w, x, y given z. So you have four sets of formulas here. Uh, they're all very close but very similar. And you need to know which set do you want to use to determine the w, x, y, and z. The rule of thumb is to use uh, whatever has the largest of w, x, y, and z and then compute the components using the diagonal and computing the others according to the table. The table being computing the diagonal first and then computing the rest. Similarly, computing the diagonal first and then computing the rest. Now this may seem a little confusing to you and when you, when you get around to the coding episode for this it'll make more sense and you can look at it but uh, until then just go over this. Uh, it's pretty easy to actually follow if you look at each of the formulas in step and you can break it down. Uh, that's it for this episode. If you like what you saw, go ahead and subscribe and share. Post to uh, social media, if you will. Go to programmingtil.com and send it for a newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.